Welcome! In front of me I have Amazfit Active Edge and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your iPhone via the Zap application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we need to make sure that the required permissions are allowed for the notifications to work. So we need to open the settings on our iPhone. In settings, find the Bluetooth option and tap on it. And here you should see the list of my devices and on it there should be a Macefit Active Edge. Next to it, there should be an info icon. If you're missing this icon, because it could be a case, you need to open the Zep application Tap on Profile, select your MS with Active Edge. For example, open the notification and reminders, tap on App Notifications and enable some notification. And once you enable it, you should see the pop-up about the pairing. And basically you need to tap on Pair to um, um, pair the devices completely, basically. Um, you can also see the pop-up about the notification permissions. And if you see that this pop-up, also allow it, which uh, will solve uh, one problem. Because what we checking here, we, when we tap on the info icon, we're looking for this option. And this option might be also missing. If you're missing share not notifica system notifications option, basically to fix it, you need to go to the Zap application, enable the notifications. And once you enable them, you should see the pop-up about the notifications, the permissions, and you need to allow them. So if you see any pop-ups about the permissions or pairing, pair or and, and allow the permissions. And once you do, go back to Bluetooth, tap on the info icon next to Amazfit Active Edge and make sure that this, this option is enabled, the share system notifications. Once it is, go back to the main page of settings, uh, scroll down, find this app application, tap on it and make sure that the Bluetooth option is enabled. Once it is, we can now uh, re reopen our Zep application, tap on profile, and select our MS with Active Edge, tap on notifications uh, and reminders. Oh, my bad. Go back, please. Notifications and reminders. And then we can tap on app notifications. And here we can turn on or off the notifications for specific apps. As you can see, this list is kind of empty. We have only a couple apps. I believe this list will fill in with apps once you receive the notifications from them. So let me just check if we have Discord. And we do, and we are logged in. Okay, so I'm going to send myself a message on Discord. And we got the notification from Discord, as you can see. Now I'm going to uh, reopen the Zep application. Tap on profile. Select our MA with Active Edge. Tap on notifications and reminders. Tap on app notifications. And as you can see, the Discord appeared. Basically, the apps will appear right here when you receive the notification from them. And now we can enable the notifications for Discord. And once you enable them, uh, the notifications from Discord if you receive them on your iPhone, they will also appear on your watch. If you disable them here, they won't appear on your watch. They will only appear on your phone. So enable the notifications for the apps you want. And once you're done with the app notifications, you can tap on incoming calls. And here we have notifications for the calls, of course. So if somebody calls you on your iPhone, your watch will vibrate and will uh, show who's calling you. You can also delay the alerts and stuff like that. So the, to enable the incoming uh, alerts, incoming call alerts, tap on the switch. Here we can enable or disable the option to show the contact information. You can enable or disable the alert, uh, delay, like I said. And if you enable the delay, you can tap here and set the delay to something like, um, it goes from three to 30 seconds. So you can select the delay you like. Okay, we have also the incoming SMS or the messages. You can enable them and the emails. 
And once you're done uh, with the uh, settings for the notifications, you should be able to receive them. I enabled the Discord, so we should get the Discord notifications on our watch. I'm gonna send myself another message. We got the notification on our iPhone. And we also got it on our watch this time. If you miss the notification on your watch, I believe you can open the notification panel by swiping right on the home screen like this. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.